Hi everyone, it's me again, Julianne, back, back with another Bible Life today. Today we're going to call this one, Denying Knowing Someone. When somebody's being denied. Um, you'll see as we go into the Bible that where that's all coming from. Alright, and then... And then it's praying for those being denied. Okay? All right, we'll put that right in there. Okay, ready? Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you for another beautiful day. Please continue to lead us and guide us in your will and your way. Through these different beautiful lessons, please help all the people in the jar with all the different things, the different illnesses and hurts and pains. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Please put your words on our in our on our tongues and your wisdom in our brains and your love in our hearts. Okay. All right. So the next part of it is we're gonna go to the question. The question is Peter denied knowing Jesus three times. But what let me go ahead and get rid of this. We don't need this today. I don't think right now. We'll see. We'll see if we can get get by without it. Okay. It's kind of distracting. <laughs> I know you guys, I know little kids get very, very distracted. They look at me like, <laughs> so um, Peter denied knowing Jesus three times before what happened. Okay, we're going to go to Luke 22, 34, if you want to follow along. Okay. Okay. Okay, Luke 22, 34. Well, 34. Okay. But Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, before a single, um, single cock crows, and this day... You will deny me three times, utterly deny that you know me. Okay, Peter loved Jesus. So Jesus, Peter did not believe he can possibly deny him because he loved him so much. But it happens. It's a very good story if you want to read that too. Okay, so if you got the answer, put that down below. That would be great. All right. So now we're going to go to the little green book, put a little section there. Okay. You shall call, the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, here I am, Isaiah 58, 9. Okay? All right. So we're going to do a part here that is, um, if people want to come to Christ, People want to be, make sure that they're ready when it comes because all the signs of the times is coming. It's coming a lot. So it's kind of simple. It's kind of the, it's the ABCs. I used to te teach the nursery thing with the kids and had other teachers there and everything. And it's basically just the ABCs. A is to admit to God that you're a sinner and turn away from your sins, not want to sin anymore. B is to believe with the, all your heart that Jesus came, even if you feel like you're not believing enough, faith of a mustard seed, a tiny, tiny piece of you, believes, and it will grow, and it will grow. Before you know it, you're, you're Jesus, reflect me. <laughs> okay. And C is to confess his name as your Savior and Lord. Okay. If you can do the admit to Turn away from you, sin. Admit you're a sinner. We're all sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God. If we, we, if we sin one thing, we're guilty of them all. Okay? So let's, let's say a, a prayer that you might be able to be, not might be able to, you will be able to be saved. Okay? Lord, our Heavenly Father, please be with them. Please help them and guide them and teach them. Lead them into a good church and good fellowship with good people. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Okay, so now, um, if you have any more comments or anything, any uh, questions or 
Shares would be wonderful. If you could share the videos, that would be fantastic. And subscribe. If you subscribe to it, then I'll have, you'll see one every day. All right, that would be fantastic. So I'm going to do a closing prayer, and then I'll let you go. Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this wonderful, beautiful day. Keep leading us and guiding us the way you want us to go. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. God bless. God bless. Bye-bye. Amen.